Hello and a very warm welcome. Some breaking news on this Friday morning regarding Alfa Romeo. But it's not Alfa Romeo anymore as Alfa Romeo has left as a title sponsor and they're going to rebrand and rename the team. So Salba will be branded as Stake F1 Team Kick Salba. So... Yeah, I'm not a fan of that name already. I will be calling them Sauber for 2024. Uh, following the departure of their title sponsor, Alfa Romeo. Now, Alfa Romeo, they were good in 2022. Finished six. They brought in a big pull in uh, Andrea Seidel from McLaren. And this year, ninth in the constructors. Really poor. Both drivers very lucky to continue for 2024. It's poor. Um, really disappointing for Alfa Romeo. Obviously, they're going to be renamed as Kick Sauber. The Swiss team will operate under this banner for the next two seasons before rebranding as Audi in 2026. So there's big, there's big, the future looks bright for this team, but have they got the pedigree and driver lineup? Audi in 2026. Yeah. I think they need to change the drivers. We'll see what they do in 24. Valtteri Bottas, the wannabe Australian. He's a pole man. He's a race winner. Now he's uh, Alfa Romeo and Guang Yu Zhou. Steady Eddie as he's known on the channel. Stake joined Sauber as a co-title partner for 23. And will now level up the partnership as the sole title partner. Including full naming rights. Sauber also announced that streaming platform Kick have acquired the naming rights to the chassis of next year's car, which will be known as the Kick Sauber C44. So, uh, yeah, this team, it was always known as Sauber. Um, yeah, then they went Alfa Romeo. But, yeah, a big brand like Alfa Romeo, the performance is not good enough. Ninth in the Constructors. Like I say, it was a huge pull to get Seidel across. Um, yeah, but they just haven't delivered. Um, yeah, and if I was Salba, I'd be looking to... I think Teo Porcher should have been in this car in 24. He's won the F2 title. He's done everything he needs to do. And he's kicked in the bollocks and has to wait on the sidelines. Alfa Romeo's partnership with Salba began in 2017 before the 2018 campaign with the team becoming Alfa Romeo Racing in 2019. Salba has always been about innovation, breaking the mould and defying convention, said Salba representative Alessandro Bravi. The partnership with Kick.com is the latest and boldest display of the philosophy that drives us forward. Um, yeah. Salber finished ninth in the Constructors Championship in 23. Three places down on. So yeah, they finished six. Momentum was high and they've gone backwards in 23. A really poor season. Um, yeah, and you're looking to go with Audi in the future. You need better results than that. They will continue to run Valtteri Bottas, Guang Zhou as their drivers for the up-and-coming campaign. With both driver's contract expiring at the end of the year so are we going to see both of these guys i think they're lucky to drive in 24 so yeah will they both be getting replaced at the end of the season in 24 so a bit of breaking news this morning i always cover breaking news um yeah we've got a team change um alfa romeo's gone and now it's f1 teams Steak F1 team, kick Salba. Yeah, when I'm doing driver ratings, I'll be referring to them as Salba. I aren't saying that every time. Woo. Comment down below your thoughts. Adios.